Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Erin McBride. The Memorial Day holiday weekend got off to a rough start along the Lake Erie shore. Well, high winds from the northeast pushed water inland, causing major flooding issues, especially in Ottawa County. Here you can see some of the damage that our crews had to deal with. When the water receded, it left tons of debris and some pretty severe damage to our roadway. We didn't have the equipment, the knowledge or the expertise to do what was needed to reopen the roadway. So we made a quick call to our friends at ODOT District 2. I want to thank ODOT District 2 and I look forward to many more years of this great partnership. I just hope that doesn't happen again. About 24 hours after the water started rising, ODOT crews had all state routes back open and even helped return several tons of sand and stone to the beaches. Thank you to all of the dedicated crews who worked around the clock to get these popular tourist destinations back up and running. The period between Memorial Day and Labor Day is often labeled the 100 deadliest days on the road. According to the Ohio State Highway Patrol, this span accounts for about a third of the fatalities on our roadways. So what can you do to make the summer travel season safer? Put down the distractions, buckle up, drive sober, and obey the speed limit. These are the top crash-causing factors every year. We'll keep doing our part to encourage safe driving behaviors through social media and our digital highway message boards. Southern Ohio is no stranger to slip repairs. These issues take a lot of time and funding to deal with. That's why an additional $35 million in federal stimulus funds to help mitigate them is welcome news. There are more than 40 landslide and rockslide project locations that will be programmed and sold most over the next fiscal year. These proactive mitigation repairs will hopefully prevent more expensive reactive repairs in the future. ODOT's mission is to safely and easily move people and goods from place to place. When most people hear that, they think of cars and trucks, and they're right. But why not drones? For our Drive Ohio team, responsible for developing Ohio's smart mobility initiatives, that's exactly what they're asking. And with me today is Luke Stedke, Managing Director of Communications and Policy for Drive Ohio, to talk about their newest endeavor, partnering with NASA, that's right, NASA, the same people that, you know, send people to space, on the Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign. So, check this out. My man, Lukey Luke, what's going on, dude? Welcome to the loop. Can you tell us what this new and exciting partnership with NASA is all about? Hey Dave, it's good to see you. And you nailed it with partnership. Our ability to work with NASA on standards and transportation needs for advanced air mobility will help us support other programs like the Agility Pri program currently going on in Springfield. So it's really exciting. Wow, man, that is super cool. So what does this mean for Ohio? So this means that we will be developing the standards and the infrastructure for advanced air mobility. Think the ability to move people and goods in the air in the 21st century. Awesome. So, does this mean Amazon will soon be delivering packages by drone? It definitely makes that more of a reality. And actually, the work that's going on in Centerville, Ohio with Kroger and Telegrid, Drone Express, their delivery options, it's happening now. Very cool, man. So what does the timeline look like? So the project itself is multi-year, but this is work that we've been doing since 2016 with the Ohio UAS Center. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. You know, the advancement in using drones to move people and cargo and perform emergency services, it's going to be a game changer for Ohio and have the same impact on transportation as the Wright Brothers had on aviation. Oh man, by the way, do you think I could be a test passenger on the first drone? I don't think so, Dave. You're not qualified. Wait, is there a test for that? Sorry, Dave. <laughs> yeah, bummer. I thought he'd be a great test dummy. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media, and we always love your story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now, you're in the loop.